hello youtube welcome to urban school my name is satendra and in this video i will explain the linear regression then after that i will tell you how to use the equations and the matlab functions for the linear regression so let's get start in all the type of types of the regression we always have the two types of the variables that is first is considered as a independent variable or it is also called as the predictor and the other variable is called dependent or that is the outcome so in the further discussion we will consider the x as a independent variable and y as the outcome that is the dependent variable now all of you remember or may be aware of this equation y is equals to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the intercept now this this equation shows the basic linear equation in the terms of x here x is the indi uh, independent variable while y is the outcome that is the dependent variable whose value depends on the value of the x this b and here is the slope m so let's say a slope of 2 somebody says there is a slope of 2 what does that mean it means for the every unit change in x the output will change by the two units in y now what is the use of what is the really use of the regression if you able to find if you have some data of x and y the corresponding value of the y with respect to the x then you can predict the next outcome for the some unknown value of x this can be done if you know the relation the mathematical relation between x and y then you can easily find the predictable value without doing any experiment so this is the use of regression now the value of the regression the value given by the regression is not absolutely correct there is always some error which error is called the random error and it depends on the value of on the order of regression if you choose a quadratic uh, regression then it will have a lesser lesser error while the linear error linear regression have more error than the quadratic one it will follow a normal distribution now in the linear regression we have assumed that x and y has the linear relationship y has distributed y is distributed normally at each value of x the variation the variance of y at every value of x is the same and the observations are independent so let's say we have uh, uh, this kind of ob uh, values of y with respect to x on the x uh, on the x axis we have the vitamin d levels on the y axis we have dsst scores now we want we need to find a relationship between these two quantities now we can perform a uh, linear regression with the help of matlab and we will find a very fine result like this so this line give me this line will give me a function uh, on the both sides of this line you will find the normal distribution of the value of y and x although all the values are not correct but it will give a approximate value now let's see how to do all these things in matlab i am going to make a script file on upon which calling we can solve the regression so first of all in a new edit file okay define a function the output will be a0 and a1 let's say linear regression is the name of the function and it will take the value of x and y this will be the input for this function now 
now before we go further let's have a look on the formula of finding the value of a0 and a1 y is equals to a0 plus a1 into x this is the formula of finding the linear regression this is same as it is y is equals to mx plus c so now we need to find the value of a1 and a0 so there is a formula for finding the value of a0 and a1 which is like that like you now we need to perform these operations in matlab so let's go back to matlab in order to save your time i have already performed it i have already written the function in the script here so let's take a look this is my function a0 and a1 having the linear regression so linear regression x and y first first of all calculate the length of the vector x and it will be stored back into the n then again choose a variable a1 which will give which will be the coefficient of the x in the main equation it is uh, according to formula it will be n times the multiplication of sum of x and y now here comes the concept of dot product here if you do not use the uh, the dot here this dot here then uh, matlab will consider it as a matlab multiplication or matrix multiplication but if you use this dot here then it will perform a element by element multiplication so which is required here minus the sum of x into the sum of y divided by so according to the formula you can do it now the dot perform the same function here also that is it will square it will perform the square of each element in the matrix x now again in the formula of y we will take the mean of y minus a times of mean of x now let's try to run it in matlab I have a value of x is equals to a matrix of 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, or 6. Now corresponding to x, I have the observation of y 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and 36. So this will give me a parabolic parabolic equation. So now I have the value of x and y. Now I will pass these values the function linear regression linear regression passing the value x and y it will give me the value of a1 a0 and the finally answer now if i want to plot this uh, values then i can plot y versus x so here is the equation of parabola y square is equals to 4ax have a look on the script again because it is very important here so we have learned the three or four things first of all element by element operation of uh, matrices that is by using this dot Second, what is linear regression? Third of third thing, how to define a function? Fourth, how to write script in MATLAB? fifth how to do plotting in order to learn more on linear regression follow my website www.urbanschool.in you can write me you can mail me your queries at my mail address
one more thing the ppt used in this uh, video is not mine i have uh, downloaded from some random source and do some editing so thanks to that guy and again do not forget to subscribe my channel and do not forget to post your valuable comments to keep me update thanks for listening me see you in the next video